Hey guys, what's going on? This video is on circles. So um, first thing we want to do is we can see over here in our little green highlighter with the black text. We have a couple of uh, little formulas that we really need to know. So without these formulas, this happens quite a bit in math actually, is without, <clears throat> without these formulas it's really hard to know what to do. So the first one, area equals pi r squared. Okay, we just gotta be able to commit that one to memory. Second one, circumference equals pi d, which is pi times diameter. And the third one, radius equals half of diameter. So at first, let's draw this out and see what we're talking about here. Okay, just as far as radius goes, there's my circle. Okay, so radius is half of the circle, right? So like that would be radius, okay? And then let's say, that this radius was five. Okay, so if that radius is five, and then they say, what is the area of the circle? Because of they've given us the radius based on that, we should be able to find it, right? We have our formula of a equals pi r squared. So then we should have a equals pi, and forget about 3.14 for these things, just just all the answers are going to be in pi. Okay, pi, and then the radius they gave us is 5. And they may not always tell you that the radius is 5. They may just show you like a little diagram like this with a 5, and then you need to know that that's the radius. 5 squared, right? And that will equal 5 squared is 25. 5 squared is 5 times 5. 5 squared, 25. Pi. There's our answer. Okay, now what if they showed you this? Uh, they got the radius of 5 and they said, what's the circumference? Okay, so we said circumference equals pi times diameter, right? But they only gave us the radius here. And so what we need to know is that uh, the diameter is twice as big as the radius, right? So if the radius is 5, that means the diameter is twice as big, 5 times 2, so it's 10, right? And the diameter actually represents this whole thing here, right? And so then, then this little 5 would be gone, we'd have 10. Okay, so now we know we have a, we have a diameter of 10, so pretty easy, right? The circumference equals pi times our diameter, which we just said was 10, right there, boom, right? Uh, and then it will probably be written, uh, your answer choice will be the one that you want anyway, 10 pi, just like that, no problem. Um, <clears throat> and we'll do one other one, let's go ahead and get this eraser rolling, get rid of all this. Okay, so again, we got area equals pi r squared, circumference equals pi d. All right, we just got to commit those two to memory. Okay, and let's do one more. So what about this one? So if they tell you d, diameter, right, equals 100, what is the area? Area equals question mark. Okay, so if you're looking at these, if it gets confusing about what to do first, remember, so our formula, they ask for area, right? And we see, we know, okay, area equals, you know, places to write on stuff on your test, note paper, or whatever, area equals pi r squared. Okay, and we know we have a d of 100. Perhaps it'll even help just to draw out the circle again. Okay, so we know the diameter is the whole thing across, right? And that's 100. Okay, and we know the radius is half of that diameter, right? And right? so if it's only half, then that radius is going to be 50, yes? Okay, so then we've got the information that we need. We've got a radius of 50, area equals that pi times... 
squared, right? And 50 squared is 50 times 50, and that's actually 2,500. And we got to put a pi at the end of it. 2,500 pi, that would be our answer. That would be a good answer, All right? So that's really the stuff that we got to remember. <clears throat> uh, diameter is twice as big as radius, okay? Uh, area equals pi r squared. Circumference equals pi times diameter. If you know all that stuff, all the circle questions you could possibly get on the exam will be a piece of cake. <clears throat>